Hello world and welcome, I'm Karku the Great Bear of the North, and this is Ark Survival Involved. And this is basically, a, it, it, it's a really cool game, it's kind of a, a Minecraft where you go around and you have to, you start with literally nothing, like, look, this is literally what I've got. I'm, I'm, he doesn't even have clothes. Um, he does have a lot of muscles though. And you start with nothing and you have to survive, um, and there's all these wild animals. But the wild animals in this game are, are dinosaurs and prehistoric mammals and prehistoric fish and birds. And it's really, really cool. But you know, not all of them are prehistoric. Uh, there are dodos, which are definitely historic, because we killed them all. Um, and so right now what I'm just starting off as is I picked up a stone. I'm punch literally punching a tree in order to get some resources so I can craft a stone pick which I can use to gain more resources, to gain experience and things, and eventually build a shelter and tame dinosaurs and become king of the walk. But right now, um, we've got nothing, so we have to be afraid of almost every dinosaur that exists. Luckily, what was that? Oh, that was the tree that I just exploded. Um, we don't need to be afraid of dodos, because dodos are, um, yeah, I just punched out a dodo. Uh, those are kind of useless. <laughs> um, and I don't know about you guys, but every time I say dodo, uh, I think of the French, at least in Ontario French and Quebec French, the two Frenches that I'm most familiar with. Uh, dodo is short for dormir, which means to sleep. Like, uh, je vais prendre dodo, je vais faire dodo, means uh, I'm gonna go to sleep, I'm gonna take a nap. Um, which is kind of ironic because dodos are, are dead, so as a species they took a nap. A very, very long sleep, a chance to dream. Um, they shuffled off the mortal coil, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, we killed them all because they're dumb. Or because we're dumb, depending on how you want to look at it. But anyways, um, I'm just collecting wood and thatch from these uh, driftwood, I guess. Because I'm going to build a, a thatch, like a little um, shelter, I guess, uh, in order to survive at night. Uh, just up here, because right up here, basically, where the top where the point of the pick is, is I'm going to build my main base. It's a kind of a mountain plateau called Weathertop, and it's really nice. Um, and so there's this road that goes down here, and I'm going to build a bridge right across this area. I don't have to build a bridge because it's shallow enough to just walk across, but I'm going to because it's more fun that way. Um, and then my dinosaurs can go up here and kind of across this peninsula, like this really long peninsula right down here. Um, and then to go to the other side, and I'm going to build my shelter kind of right up where my pick is, right there. Um, I'm just collecting resources in order to, to build that. Don't worry, I'm not going to show you everything in this game, because a lot of it is just tedious, walking around, gathering, gathering resources, especially fiber. <laughs> um, yeah, you can create, um, <laughs> fertilizer in this game from, from excrement from various species. Um, and so every so often, you your character needs to defecate, um, and so you'll hear that sound, that sound, um, and you'll get a little notice at the top of the screen saying, you defecated, um, and then you could actually pick that up. See, there it is, right there. Yeah, there it is. Um, I can throw it into into a bin and make fer fertilizer for my for my crops, which is pretty cool. Which is pretty cool, but uh, every time I hear that noise, I'm just gonna giggle because this is the first game I've ever played where your own character uh, actually has to go to the bathroom, and I find that tremendous. But anyways, uh, so we've got berries in in bushes in here uh, for food. But berries are not a very good food source, so we're eventually gonna need to start killing something um, and building a campfire uh, in order to cook their meat. Uh, so. Let me see, I'm almost at, almost filled my, okay, take a look at the bottom right of the screen. You see like the, the arrow that's pointing up? That's how much experience I have. Um, and once that arrow is full, then I gain a level below that is weight, um, and water, and food, and stamina, and health. Um, so if you keep track of those, you should be able to follow along with me when, uh, when my own needs start flagging. But anyways, here, I'll show you where the, uh, where I'm going to build that base. And just as I'm there, I'm just going to collect stones and, and fiber. But um, yeah, we, there's a little kind of rocky outcropping knoll just kind of in the middle of what is a relatively flat area. Like the, the dinosaurs will come down from that tree near the obelisk, and then oh, there's my level. Um, there's a road down there across the bridge, and then go, go up here. So I'm going to build my little house on 
this ridge right right here right on this little ridge like this little where is it yeah that ridge right there see so you can see more clearly from behind um, I'm going to build my my stuff up here so let's gain a level I can increase my health my stamina oxygen food water whatever but because I don't want to die I'm just going to increase my health at the beginning we're going to learn how to make spears and campfires um, so let's actually make the campfire do we have enough no we need more flint and stone Yabba-dabba-doo. So let's take our pick. Come on. We're going to need to get rid of these rocks anyways in order to make a better dino superhighway. Which probably sounds like a either really good or really bad album name. Dino Superhighway. Uh, I don't know. I'm in a weird mood today. But, but yeah. So do we, do, can we build it now? Okay, we can build the, the spear. Uh, we'll build the fire, and can we get another spear? No, we need more wood for another spear. But anyways, we will, come on, let's get the spear down there so I can defend myself. Let's get, where is my little rocky outcropping? It is, is this it? No, where did it go? Oh, there it is. Uh, I'm going to build a campfire here, then I'm going to stab some animals, some aminals, um, and get some uh, get some meat from them so yeah so the road will go down here i'll end up clearing out all of these rocks and stones and whatever and then i'll build another bridge across this because there's piranhas down there and piranhas um will eat me they will eat me what else do we see here we've got a parasaur the ones with like the mohawk kind of things like the, the horn on the back of their head um we've got the carbonamus which are giant tortoises um, and we've got these, like, they kind of look like seals, um, but they're moss jobs and they're not, they run away and they're fast. I don't really want to deal with them. What I want to, what I'm looking for is for some dodos. Actually, do I have dodo meat? Did, did, I can't remember if I already killed it. Yeah, I already have meat. So let's go back to the campfire, actually, and, and cook that. Come on, run, 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 run. Um, and don't worry, like I said, I'm not going to show you everything, I'm just going to show you most of the highlights, but uh, just right now I'm trying to explain how the game plays and how it works, and all these wonderful, wonderful things. Uh, there we go, so we'll open that up, we'll put in some thatch to burn, and some meat, and then we can get some food. Fantastic. That way when my food starts to run, I can actually put some more food in my belly, and I will survive. Although one thing you don't need to do in this game is have a balanced diet, you can literally eat just meat and you will be perfectly fine. So scurvy is not a thing in this game. It's unfortunate that scurvy is a thing in real life, because I really like the taste of meat. Meat is delicious. Uh, especially like ribs and pork and the beef. Oh my god, red meat is good. Not the pork's red meat, but whatever. Um, let's see, we have, uh-oh, uh-oh. You see that, that thing right there? That's at the, at the crosshair. That is a, um, a baryonyx. And, uh, and that's a nasty predator that we don't want to, to mess with right now. So we're, hmm. What do I need for another spear? Do I, can I, you know what? Let's, let's try to, let's kill this giant turtle. Um, just because these giant turtles are really easy to kill. Yeah, they have armor, but um, they're also super slow. So I can literally just walk backwards and stab my spear out every so often, and I will kill this. Level 8. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Of course. Of course. I need more wood in order to build a new spear, because my spear broke. Um, and this is not the time to be chopping for wood when you have a... Uh, an angry turtle slowly waddling towards you. I, uh... Okay, come on. Boom. Ow, ow, ow! I actually let the spear... The, the spear... The turtle headbutt me. That's not fair. Hey! No, 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 no. You die. Ah, yeah. I'm not good at this. I don't like being hit. Boom. 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 Come on. Oh, there we go. It is dead. Oh, I've got a lot of meat, I've got a lot of hide, a lot of keratin. Um, which we can use to create various different things. Oh, jeez, I just realized I was backing up into the territory of the Baryonyx. And, oh, oh, is that a Spinosaur? That giant thing right there? 
Yeah, that's a Spinosaur. Um, so we have a Spinosaur there. Spinosaurs are big and nasty. Um, we have a Baryonyx there, so I do not want to go over there all that much. So you know what, let's go back to... Let's go back. Yeah, there we go, there's the campfire. Let's go back to the campfire, get the food, and then let's see what's on the other side. Maybe we can get some primers or some trilobites or, or whatever. Um, there's the meat there, we'll give it some more meat, um, and we'll eat the food. One, two, three, four, five, should give me all the energy I need, at least for the immediate future. Um, hmm. I don't want to go in there, because I know there's piranhas in there. And when I was doing a, a... Actually, here, I'll show you a piranha. Where's the piranhas? Actually, hey, there's no piranhas. In oh, yeah, there it is. Piranhas are nasty. Oh, there's two of them. See, that's why piranhas are nasty, because they gang up on you. Each one, individually, isn't all that... Um, isn't all that much trouble. But when there's, like, four of them, and you're just trying to get away, and it's going... Hum, 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 and eating you, um, you tend to die really quickly tend to die really quickly. And death is not something you want to do in this game, because you lose all your stuff. If you're playing hardcore mode, you actually lose all your levels as well, which is annoying. Um, in the normal game, you actually can level up fairly quickly, at least in the beginning, but I'm on my own server here, so I really turned down the experience growth, uh, just because I like to build. And so often, at least when I was doing some test runs, I found that as soon as you learned how to build something, by the time you get, gathered the materials to build it, you actually gained another couple of levels and then you can build a superior thing to the other thing that you were building. Um, which kind of defeats the entire purpose, especially if you're playing solo. BAM! Oh, dears, really? I totally thought that would kill it. I chucked a spear at a dodo and now it's running around like a dodo with a spear in its rear. Um, that was kind of funny, actually. I enjoyed that. Um, yeah, you're gonna- boom! Why? And this one survived too. Wow, I was really hoping that just one spear throw would, would kill it, but, uh, but no. But no. Um, hmm. Now, cool, the thing, that is a really weird green color again. Huh, interesting. I've never seen them green before. Um, what is that? Is that a parasaur? Yeah, okay, that's a parasaur. That's not, that's not deadly to me. Um, just, especially at the early levels before you've tamed dinosaurs to help you in defense, you really need to be aware of what's going on around you because it is really dangerous. Um, there's nothing here. There's, there's not anything here. Um, I want a trilobite. Come on, trilobites. Trilobites are cool. In case you don't know what they are, they um, kind of look like um, like armored millipedes or whatever, and they live in the water. And they were... Here's the educational content for the day. Um, and they started... They entered the fossil record about 525, 520, something like that, million years ago. And they existed as a species for over or as, a, as an order, for over 270 million years before they were all wiped out about 230 million years ago. Um, so they're one of the longest surviving species or orders or groups or whatever um, on the planet, and they're really, really cool. Um, but they kind of look like horseshoe crabs, I think, is, is I think their closest living relative. Um, and there's none around here. Oh. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I know where there might be some. What is that? Is that a Triceratops? Yeah, that's a Triceratops. Right down there. Ah, uh, I love me some Triceratops. Triceratops is actually my favorite... My favorite dinosaur by far. Um, they're just something... I don't really know. But there's just something about them. There's a manta... Oh, there's two mantas. Mantas are... Scary. Mantas are also scary. So... Yeah, there's a lot of scary stuff coming around. So I'm just gonna wander, try to find something, and I'll uh, I'll talk to you guys again when I when I've got it. Actually, right after right after this, boom! <laughs> that yeah, that was cool. And did I lose my spear? I lost my spear. Darn it! Uh, and I lost my pick. Okay, so what do I need for my pick? Stone and wood. There's stone. 
Wow, that was embarrassing. But uh, yeah, I'll just do this for a while, and then I'll come back if I find a job about or something interesting to talk to you about. Alright, it is still day one, and I just gained another level. Uh, so let us get a stone hatchet, cloth pants, and a cloth shirt. Cloth shirt and pants because, you know, uh, well, it's raining, as you can see and hear, so I don't want to be super cold all the time. Um, but also, uh, I'm going to build a stone hatchet. And here's the thing. Stone picks will help you get uh, flint from rocks, thatch from trees, and meat from bodies, whereas a stone hatchet will get stone from rocks, skin from bodies, and wood from trees. So um, they have the same raw, uh, uh, raw resource, but you get different materials from it based on what you on what tool you use. So there we go. Let's get some pants. Let's get a shirt. Let's get a um, stone pick. There we are, a stone hatchet. Let's get some pants, because as swole as that guy looks, I really don't want to have to put um, an 18 plus rating on this videos. So there we go. Fantastic. You know, I definitely want more wood for my uh, for my spears. So there we go, there's some more wood. But uh, yes, we got a level, and now we've got clothes. Eh? Eh? Much better. Arr, arr. But yeah, that would have been a better picture if it weren't in the rain, but whatever. Um, but yeah, back to back to the grind. Excellent. Gained another level, which means I can now start to build... I'm going to rebuild my pick. But I now start to build my uh, a little shelter there. Thatch foundation, ceiling, and wall. Those are the things that I need in order to build my little, my little hut. So... Here's how, here's how the building construction works. You need foundations, you need walls, and you need ceilings. And once you build these, um, you start with the foundation. I'm just going to drag these into the quick bar so that I can uh, build a little bit more quickly. You know, the hot bar, the toolbar, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then we've got the ceilings. There we go. So, you start by placing the foundation. I'm going to place my foundation right on like this rock. Here, I'll show you. Let's zoom out. There we go. I'm gonna build my foundation right along this 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 rock ledge. Make sure that's way too far to do. Um, and we're gonna build it right, right there. Yes, I know it overhangs. I know it, and I know it looks silly, but uh, but it actually works for our purposes. So now we're standing on this. Um, and actually, no. Let's just connect these out through here a little bit more. There we go. Oh, I didn't build that high enough. Okay, so you know what? Let's actually demolish this. Because I'm an idiot. And I should always start building at the highest point, um, not the lowest point, because you don't have to you don't have to worry about things patching through. Um, not patching through, but like sticking through the thatch. Um, that should actually be high enough. There we go. Um, let's. Extend that out. Yeah, there we go. Um, and I did in my again my custom server because I'm slick like that. I did disable um, terrain collisions for for buildings or whatever. Just because uh, that way you can actually get walls to like line up right against the side of a cliff if you're trying to block access to to an area, dinos or or other people if you're playing on a multiplayer server or whatever. So we've got. Basically the walls, or the floor, set. Can I build out there? No, I can't build out there. I can, however, build out there. And once we get um, wood foundations and whatever, we can build supports to extend this out. But yeah, that's kind of the floors. Whoops. Now let's get some walls up here. Let's put as many walls as they'll allow, and then I can put the ceiling, whoops, the ceiling on top. And then we're just going to have a little bit of a... Uh, a little building here. It'll be nice. It'll be a place to stay in when you be warm at night or when it's raining or when it's really, really cold. Because, um, you know, I think, I thought Canadians um, had big temperature changes. Like, oh darn it. Um, like, we can go from plus 5 to minus 30 in a day. But in this game, you can go from minus 15 to plus 40 in 24 hours, which is completely, completely ridiculous. But, um, such is the way the game was designed and coded, so whatever, you need to deal with it. But, uh, 
let's get some ceilings here as well. Let's just finish there. And I know this looks really silly and wonky right now, but um, once you get the wooden foundations and we expand it, it won't look as angular and derby. Um, oh yeah, I don't have any more of those. Let's get some more ceilings up here. There we go. Just so we can be protected from rain. And can I build it? What do I need? Oh, I need more wood. Okay. Um, and yeah, the sun is setting, so I should probably end off this video. But I just want to finish off this little, this little, um, a little shelter thing here. There we go. It looks kind of cool, all up on the rocks like that. Um, I do have to jump into it though, which is unfortunate. Um, can you build another one? Yeah, cool. I can build two more. Um, so I'll get this one covered, and I'll get this little corner covered as well. Boom. There we go. And actually, did I build a torch? Probably should have built a torch to actually show you this. Um, or a new, what do I need? I need more stone, and then I can build a campfire inside it just to keep myself super toasty. But uh, actually, you know what? Enough of that. Let's just get right here. Let's get a spear, and then oops, let's get selfie mode. No, that's not selfie mode. Where it's, which one's selfie mode? Oh, I forgot which one. Just selfie mode. But either way, let's, uh, there we go. There's Cargo, and evening of day one. <laughs> it's not the greatest, but trust me, it will get better. But this game is awesome. Hopefully the series will be awesome. I'm glad to be back, guys. See you next time. Ciao.